Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use Nucleus Co-op to play split screen Minecraft on PC. Nucleus is a completely free program that automates split screening of games by opening multiple instances, resizing them, and then redirecting the input. Some games like Minecraft even support multiple keyboards and mice. In this video I'll be using two keyboards, two mice, and a controller. So, let's get started. The first tool we need is MultiMC. MultiMC is an alternative Minecraft launcher that handles multiple installations and lets you install mods much more easily. So go to multimc.org, again, links is in the description, and grab the latest version here. Once it's downloaded, you can extract the zip wherever you like. So right click on it, then click Extract All. Now I'm going to move it out of this folder here. Okay, so go ahead and open MultiMC and finish this uh, first time setup stuff. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is add your Minecraft account. So go in the top right here and click Manage Accounts, then add your Microsoft or Mojang account. As you can see, I've added my account here. So now we need to set up the instances. Click Add Instance here. And then you'll need to select the Minecraft version. Now at the time of recording, the controllable mod, which adds controller support to Minecraft, only works on Minecraft 1.16.5. So if you're using controllers, you'll need to use 1.16.5. If you're only using keyboards and mice, you can use whatever version you like, like the latest one. But I'm going to stick with 1.16.5 here. So first download the controllable mod, the link is in the description, and go to files here. And as you can see, it only works up to 1.16.5. So go ahead that and download that here. And the other mod we'll be using is Optifine. Now, since we're going to be running multiple instances of Minecraft, having Optifine will massively improve the performance of the game. So I'm using 1.16.5, so I'll need this version here. So click the mirror button or download button, get that version. Once you've got those mods downloaded, go and right click on the instance, then edit instance, and click install forge here. It should select the latest version, that's fine, and then click OK. And then go to Loader Mods, click Add, and add the two mods you just downloaded. There's currently a bug where split screen might crash if you haven't launched the game at least once. So double click on the instance, get to the main menu, and then quit. Now we need to copy the instance so we have one for each player. I have three players, so I'll need three instances. So right click on it, then copy instance, rename it to something different, and then copy it again. Okay, so now we have all our instances set up. We can go ahead and close MultiMC, and this setup only needs to be done once. Now let's set up Nucleus Co-op. Go to the website, again, link is in the description, and click download at the top. Now, before we download, you should know that the latest versions of Nucleus are sometimes being detected as a false positive by some antiviruses. Now, this is because Nucleus injects code into game processes to redirect input and change window focus. However, injecting code into processes is exactly what viruses also do, which is why it's being detected as a false positive. So, if you go ahead and download the latest zip version here, as you can see, Firefox thinks this file is suspicious. So you have to click on it and then allow it. And before extracting, you might need to add it as an exception in your antivirus. I'm using Windows Defender, the default on Windows. So you have to right click on it and then scan with Windows Defender. So click uh, view details on the latest uh, virus detected. So you're not actually enabling an actual virus. And as you can see, it's Nucleus Co-op. So if you click allow on device, then start actions. Okay, so now we can go ahead and extract Nucleus. Now the best place to install Nucleus is in a folder like C slash Nucleus. Do not install it in a user folder like Documents or Downloads, or in Program Files, or in one of the games folders. C slash Nucleus is usually the safest. Right click, extract all. Now let's move it outside of the folder again.
Okay, now we can go ahead and run Nucleus Co-op. Nucleus works with scripts, so each game needs a script that will automate the setup. You can download the Minecraft script from the script browser by clicking Download Game Scripts, then searching for Minecraft, click Download, yes. Now you need to browse to MultiMC, select it here, okay. On this screen you have the input devices. I have three monitors, so three monitors show up here, and then you can split each screen into multiple pieces by clicking on this icon. For example, if I wanted a four player split, I'd do this. And if I wanted to change it, I'd do something else. Let's see if it at four. And now as you can see, when I'm moving my mouse, it's showing up the correct icon in yellow. And when I press a key on my keyboard, it shows up the keyboard in yellow. And when I move a different mouse, it shows up a different mouse icon and a different keyboard like that. And now if I press a key on my controller, corresponding controller icon shows up in green, so we can drag that in. And these are our free input devices. Now, I have a blank space here because I have three players, but you can fix that by right-clicking on one of the instances like this, and then it expands. So once you've finished setting up your devices, you can go ahead and click on the right arrow button here, and then click play. Multi-MC will be opened. There are two ways of using your accounts, so there's online and offline. If you're going to be playing on any online multiplayer servers, you'll need multiple Minecraft accounts, in which case you'd launch an instance, then switch accounts in the top right, launch the next instance, etc, etc. However, if you're only going to be playing on a local server, i.e. a LAN server, you'll only need one account, so you'd launch each instance by clicking Launch Offline, then you choose a different username. So let's go ahead and do that. Go on the first instance, click Launch Offline, Choose a username, player1, and now wait for it to get to the menu, and then do the same for the next instance and the next instance. So once the instances have set up, we can now pick them with the Nucleus Cup process picker. So you need to refresh the processes, and as you can see, Java W shows up three times. So let's select the first one, click select, and now wait for Nucleus to go ahead and resize that window, and then we'll repeat for the next instance. Now one limitation of the Minecraft script is that sometimes you need to select the controller manually. So if you remember I set the controller to be in the top right, so if you go to options, then the controller, you see it's been selected here, which is good. And on the, con the keyboard instances, we should make sure there's nothing selected. And it all looks okay, so let's go back. Now you can go ahead and create a world on one of the instances. input by pressing the end key on your keyboard. This stops the real mouse cursor from working and allows a virtual cursor for each instance. So if I move a mouse, it will move this cursor. If I move a different mouse, it moves this cursor. And if I use the controller, it should control the top right instance. So that's all there is to start playing. When you've finished, remember to save your world before quitting. And to stop the screen, you'll need to press the end key to unlock the real mouse cursor. And then you can go to Nucleus and click Stop here. Or, alternatively, you can press Control q which will kill Nucleus in all of the games. But just remember, if you're pressing Control q make sure to save before you press Control q So if you have any questions setting anything up, the fastest way to get help is on the Nucleus Discord server, which I've linked in the description. Other than that, thank you very much for watching.